on the Facebook page for Spray Wash Academy. I'm telling you right now, be there because there's so much sharing and caring on there. And do it, do it, do it. Spray Wash Academy. And thank y'all so much for coming to our big event. We we appreciate you. And I want to also um, ruminate again what Carlos was talking about. We've all been there and been newbies. I was like a deer in the headlights when we first, when I started doing the sales. And ladies and gentlemen, you know, if you're the salesperson, sit them down. You got to know soft wash, EFIS, know what. I just had know enough to make me dangerous. So when I'm out there talking to these project managers, I can say, you know, we know how to clean with the proper PSI on your EFIS here. You know, we're not going to come out and blast it. We use this percentage of, of um, sodium hypochlorite on this on this project. We're not going to come out and rust your gutters, and corrode your gutters. We're not going to fade your paint. We're not going to, you know, nuke your landscaping. So know enough to make you dangerous and make it competitive. So thanks for your time, guys. Thank you so much. Don't leave. Two minutes. We're going to do the closing remarks. So if everybody leaves now, it's going to take another 20 minutes for everybody to get back and then extend it into four or five o'clock. So let's do the closing remarks. Uh, Paul, real, real, real quick, before we get started, um, I want Rich has got a show coming up, and he's going to talk a little bit about it. So let him uh, talk. Are you coming, Paul? I'm going to try to. Okay. Yeah, Paul may be, may come in case you need some more equipment. <laughs> uh, it's probably going to be like three weeks. So yeah. uh, anyway, March fifth and sixth, we're having our educational event in Odessa, Florida. No charge. It's a great two days of education, so you're all invited. No. Barbecue. Uh, yeah, barbecue. Uh, a lot of giveaway, a lot of tea. Everybody gets a t-shirt. Pretty much everybody's going to get a pail, a concrete sealer, and then we'll be giving away other stuff. Paul's giving away, a, uh, I think, a, a twin eight-gallon. <laughs> I love getting him in trouble. What? Yeah. Uh, That's right, I'll send you the bill. <laughs> okay, thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Have a great have a good time. Thank you, Richie. And while we're in the clapping mode, let's give all the instructors, all the personal washing staff, spray wash academy, a round of applause. And without further ado, um, Carlos is going to do this for me, so we're all good. <laughs> I'm going to pass the mic to Paul, uh, to Paul uh, for the closing remarks. Go from there. All right, I'm going to make this quick because I'm sure everybody wants to get out of here, Got it? including all the people in the store. Um, and first of all, I want to thank everybody for coming and taking the time to be here. Um, you know, I really, I really appreciate it. Um, it makes you know, all the 18 hour days worthwhile when we see so many people show up and have such interest in what we're doing. Um, the sharing of information, you know, I really hope that everybody here had an opportunity to really network with each other and really share that information. It's not, you know, really about what, what I do or what we do, but it's about what you do with each other that really makes this successful. And the networking and, and, and dog helping Sixto and, and John helping, you know, uh, Trevor and, you know, all these people working together to build a better organization of contractors to go out and be successful. That's really what this is about. In all the years that we've been doing this, I mean, we started out with 10, 15 people at shows and to be up, you know, two, 300 people showing up to a regional event like this is just incredible. And, and, and we've seen it, I mean, I've seen guys, you know, when Doug first started, you know, to be where he is now. Um, a lot of people, Ray first started, Ray and Tanya, I mean, I met them when they had first started. They were just trying to get by and, and where they are now. And, and, and to see that success and, and to, to watch everybody grow their businesses and become so successful, I mean, that's just so exciting to me. I, you know, even if you never, ever buy anything from me, it's not about that. It's about getting you successful and building this industry and making you all great contractors. Lean on each other, work with each other, take what you've learned and utilize it. If you have questions, if you don't know, call Ray and Tanya. Call Carlos. Bother him all the time. He loves it when you call at 2 a.m. And you know what? He loves it when you call at 2 a.m. because he's out working. 
<laughs> Don't call him at 9 o'clock in the morning, because that's when he's trying to sleep. But, you know, it, it's really important to take what you've learned here and, and you know, how do you, how do you implement it all? And Carlos kind of touched on this a little bit with the, with the, with the round table thing. And, and, it, and the key is to set a goal. How many people here have goals, like actual physical goals set? That's pretty good. That's actually very good. Um, a lot of times people, yeah, people have, you know, I want to be a millionaire. That's, uh, that's great. I want to be a millionaire. But why? How? What? Well, I just, you know, I want to be rich. That's a great goal. Everybody wants to be rich. I'm rich. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, rich. Absolutely. So it, it's important to take <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> How do you follow that? Uh, you know, it's important to take the things you, you've learned here. Maybe take one, one tidbit of something you learned, one process, one, one tip, one sales thing, one technique. Take that and implement that goal. Set yourself some goals. Take the time to sit down and write down your goals. One-year goal, three-year goals, five-year goals. You know, what's it going to do for my company? What can I do? Why do I want to do this? Work on that. You know, the, the important thing with goals is it, it's not necessarily the goal itself, but it's what you do to get to that goal. It's the things you learn along the way. I want to be a million dollar company. That's great. Why do I want to be a million dollar company? Mm -hmm. That's important. Why? Because I want to provide for my family. Because I want my kids to be able to go to school and not have to worry about being saddled with debt. I want I want to be able to relax and enjoy my retirement. I want to be I want to buy an island. Well, I want to buy an island. I really do. I want to, that's one of my goals. I do. I want to buy an island. Um, but have ice around it, right? yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I want to buy a tropical island. Let me clarify. And I saw a really nice one on TV. With tenant, you know, anyway. So you know, take the time to set those goals, and 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 the benefit you get from getting those goals and setting those goals, it's not necessarily getting the goal itself. It's how you get there. It's the things you learn along the way. Become the expert in your field. If your goal is to be the biggest contractor in your area, well, that's great. But the things you learn are the things that you're really going to benefit. How do I run my business? How do I manage all these people? How do I structure things? How do I make this bigger and better and stronger and greater? How do I become the authority? You know, what are the benefits? What are the things that I learn? You know, uh, the, the, the things you get along the way, employee management, the working with others, the building friendships and relationships and, and business partners and, and all those things. And that's what you're really going to gain out of this. And working together like that will really make you stronger. I mean, you have a network here that's like no other. Mm -hmm. That, you know, there's people that just give selflessly of themselves all the time. Utilize that, take that with you, help them help you reach your goals. <coughs> Work together. But I caution you on your goal, the one big thing that you want to make sure you don't do when you're, when you're cautioned. <laughs> when he is the worst of <laughs> when you're uh, When you're working for your goal, do it for the right reasons. Do it for the good things. Yep. What are the benefits you get out of it? You're going to learn things. You're going to become an expert. You're going to build friendships. You're going to build relationships. You're going to develop skills to help you grow your business and repeat that and share that with others. But don't do things that are negative to get to your goals. Don't sell yourself out. Don't compromise your principles. Don't do what's wrong just to get there. Don't cheat to win. Do it the right way, do it the hard way, work and be proud of yourself. When you go out and you conduct your businesses, and, and everybody I've met here is really this kind of person, so I guess I'm kind of preaching to the choir in a way. But, you know, be good people. Mm -hmm. Do it right. Don't sell yourself out just to win. And you'll be successful. The good things that come from that, the, the feelings you get from that, that you can share and, and, and how you feel. Every night when I go home at 10 o'clock and go to bed and get up at 2, um, I, I go to bed and I'm 
100% confident in myself. I, I'm 100% relaxed. I know that I've not done anything to screw over a contractor, to cause a problem, to sell myself out. I don't do things to try to screw people over. Yeah, things happen. You know, mistakes will happen. You'll do a job and you'll damage a window. Don't lie your way out of it. Do the right thing. You know, I've broken windows on trucks. I've damaged trucks. I've backed things into buildings. You know, I've, I've destroyed windows. I've frozen people out of trucks in the middle of winter. You know, I've, I've done all kinds of stuff. But I never lost a job from doing any of that. Because what would I do? I'd do the right thing. I'd say, yep, yeah, you know, I did that. Or I'd call them up and say, man, I was on your lot job this weekend and wasn't paying attention and I was driving around with my invader and I'd rip the glad, glad handles off four of your trailers in the parking lot. And I thought I'd let you know so you don't come in on Monday and can't get your trailers on the road. What do you want me to do? Don't worry about it, I'll take care of it. Hey, guess what? You did about eight grand in damage this weekend. I'll take care of it. Nope, I got it. Customer took care of it for me. One of my guys did some stuff like that. Stand up, do the right thing. Don't do what's expedient, do the right thing. And you'll have a much more successful business, a better life, and you can live with yourself. Do things to make your family proud. Do things that your kid will be proud of. Conduct yourself in a manner that when you're by yourself, that if somebody's watching that you don't know, that your wife can say, or your daughter can say, I'm proud of my dad. I'm proud of my mom. I'm proud of, you know, my husband, my wife. Because that's how you conduct your life. So take the things you've learned here, set those goals, set some one-year goals, three-year goals, five-year goals. Work on implementing them and, and the things that you learn and, and the qualities you develop will make you just a great and amazing person. You want to be the guy, you want to be the gal, you want to be the leader, be a leader and do it the right way and you will always be successful. So that's all I have to say. I want to thank, again, thank everybody for coming. I want to thank all my instructors for taking time out of their day to come here on their dime. They all did this out of their own pockets to do that. So I want everybody to know that. They really care about you and care about this industry and I couldn't do this without them. I'm just so thankful. I'm thankful for all of you. I'm thankful for all of them. Everybody have safe travels. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. One, one more thing. If anybody is interested in sticking around for a while, Rob's going to stay here. We have the room for a while. If you want, would you, any social media, technology, Facebook, YouTube, if you've got questions, I'm willing to hang out, whatever. So if anybody wants to stick around for any additional tech, discussions, tech Q &A, talking, call it. nobody has to leave. You know, we got the we got the room until midnight tonight, so. Two, right. two more days? Hang out. Yeah, you <laughs> 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 Let's do it. Yeah.